Ancient Egypt Hello kids, my name is Julia. Today we start our visit in Egypt. We are here near the Pyramids of Giza. The Pyramids of Giza were tombs built for three different Egyptian pharaohs. The one on your left is the largest pyramid, nearly 150 meters tall. It was built for the pharaoh Khufu in 27 years more than 4,500 years ago. It is called the Great Pyramid of Giza and is the only surviving wonder from the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Middle Pyramid was built for Pharaoh Khafre, while the smallest of the three was built for Pharaoh Menkure. Off we go to visit another symbol from ancient Egypt. Hello kids! The Great Sphinx of Giza is more than 4,500 years old and one of the most famous sculptures and a symbol of ancient Egypt. It is a limestone statue showing a human head and the body of a lion. It seems that the head of the Sphinx represents that of the pharaoh Khafre. Many explain the significance of the Sphinx as that of a lion guarding the body of the pharaoh Khafre. It measures 73 meters long from core to tail and 20 meters high from the base to the top of the head. As you can see it needs a lot of restoration works. Now off to explore the beauty of the River Nile. Hello kids, it's me again. Today we are here on the River Nile. It is believed to be the longest river of the world. The Nile flows through nine African countries, mainly through Sudan and Egypt and emptying in the Mediterranean Sea. In ancient Egypt the Nile was very important for agriculture and also for transportation. In fact, the ancient Egyptians lived and farmed along the Nile, using the soil to produce food for themselves and their animals. Hope you enjoyed our short trip on the River Nile. Now off to visit the tomb of Tutankhamun. Hello kids, here we are, outside the tomb of Tutankhamun. This tomb was discovered in 1922 by the British archaeologist, Howard Carter. Now let's go to explore the inside of this famous tomb. Tutankhamun took the throne at the age of 8 or 9 years. Here we can see Tutankhamun's sarcophagus where a coffin contained his mummified body. The coffin was crafted in wood and covered in gold along with many precious stones. It is believed that Tutankhamun died at the age of 19. His tomb became famous because it was discovered entirely complete, containing a fabulous treasures that helped the Egyptologists to better understand the process of mummification. Here we conclude our trip to Egypt. Hope you enjoyed it. Join me again next time from another beautiful country. Bye bye. From Miss Julia. Ancient Egypt. Facts to remember. There are three famous pyramids at Giza. The pyramids of Giza are more than 4,500 years old. The biggest pyramid is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Sphinx is a sculpture of a human head and a body of a lion. The Sphinx needs many works of restoration. The head of the Sphinx is thought to be that of the pharaoh Khafre. The River Nile flows mainly through Sudan and Egypt. In ancient Egypt the Nile was very important for agriculture and transportation. The tomb of Tutankhamun was discovered in 1922 by the British archaeologist Howard Carter. Tutankhamun died aged 19.